Chapter 431, Sonic Dou Technique Within the fiery red cluster of light in Xiao Yan's hand was a pale red scroll. The high temperature was also being emitted from within it. If one's gaze passed through the glow and scanned across the pale red scroll within it in detail, one would vaguely be able to see a few words on top of it. Nine Layer Phoenix Flame Skill, De Class Middle Level The simple few words caused Xiao Yan to strain himself and swallow a mouthful of saliva. De Class Middle Level Since Xiao Yan was born until now, a qi method at this kind of level was the highest level qi method he had ever seen. Even if this kind of qi method was placed in the black corner region, where stolen or smuggled goods from the continent flowed through, it would definitely be able to set off a sensation. Countless number of factions would fight over this qi method until their heads broke and their blood was spilled. However, this de class qi method, that had a value which was difficult to determine, landed in Xiao Yan's hand in such an easy manner. It really was somewhat drama-like. Xiao Yan's palm tossed the extremely light scroll in his hand. His hand, however, felt a somewhat heavy feeling. Something that he would never imagine getting his hands on in the past was now randomly spat out from this mysterious book collection hall. The vast collection that the Jianan Academy owned caused Xiao Yan to be endlessly shocked. The gaze of Bai Shan and the two others sparkled as they stared at the fiery red cluster of light in Xiao Yan's hand. Up till now, this scroll was the item which had caused the greatest commotion. Although they did not know exactly what it was, they were able to vaguely guess the range of its class. Hey, you three, what is it? Aren't you going to grab by yourself? Don't tell me that you are thinking of snatching it from me. Xiao Yan tossed the fiery red glow in his hand and smilingly said. Although there were three people in the other party, whose strength were not weak, Xiao Yan had Sun Er as his helper on this side. Even if they were to really fight, the other party would not be able to gain anything good. KK, Junior Xiao Yan must be joking. However, you have also said earlier that these things rely on fate. It was with your ability that you were able to grab it, but you can only be considered to have truly obtained it if you have the luck to take it out from the cluster of light. Otherwise, what happened to me earlier would be an example. Bai Shan glanced at the fiery red cluster of light in Xiao Yan's hand as said with a faint smile, I want to see whether Junior Xiao Yan has this luck. Xiao Yan's eyebrows were slightly knitted together when he heard this. He exchanged glance with Sun Er. His right hand held the fiery red cluster of light, while his left hand was slowly extended into it. After which, he gently made contact with the fiery red cluster of light. The hearts of Bai Shan and the others were also suddenly raised when they saw Xiao Yan's action. Their eyes stared intently at his hand. Light that permeated the place shot past them. Numerous clusters of light repeatedly flew past in front of them. However, none of them were currently in the mood to stop them. Instead, they threw their gazes on Xiao Yan's body. When faced with such a good thing, many people had the attitude of if I cannot have it, you can also forget about getting it. Therefore, they really wanted to be happy over Xiao Yan's misery when they saw Xiao Yan's depressed appearance over failing to obtain the item. Xiao Yan's hand was slowly passed to the cluster of light. A warm feeling spread from his palm. However, for Xiao Yan, who frequently played with fire, this little temperature was merely a small dish. His hand gradually extended into the cluster of light and a moment later, finally met with a feeling of resistance. He slowly exhaled and clenched his teeth. His hand abruptly pressed downwards, and the fiery red glow suddenly became brighter. A wild joy immediately swarmed up onto Xiao Yan's face as his hand was extended into the cluster of light in a lightning-like manner and immediately drew it out once again. There was an additionally dark red-colored scroll in it. Haha. <laughs> Looks like my luck is quite good. Xiao Yan held the dark, red-colored scroll tightly. The excitement on his face was difficult to hide while he laughed out loud. Humph Bai Shan's expression could not help but become a little ugly when he saw Xiao Yan actually succeeded in obtaining the item. He snorted and shifted his gaze away from Xiao Yan, beginning to look for the next target to catch. 
Hu Jia and Wu Hao also eyed the dark red scroll in Xiao Yan's hand with eyes that were filled with envy. A moment later, they could only turn their heads around and look for their prey. He he, congratulations, Xiao Yan ji ji. Sun Yar turned her head over and said smilingly to Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan smiled. He stroked the dark red scroll in his hand gently. A moment later, he suddenly tossed the scroll over to Sun Yar and smilingly said, It is useless for me to hold this Qi method. If Sun Yar likes it, I will give it to you. In all these years, I have never given you such a valuable item. This fellow is really generous. That is a Di class Qi method, although most of the attention of Bai Shan and the two others were placed on searching for a target, the action where Xiao Yan tossed the Qi method to Sun Yar was similarly seen by them. This was especially when they heard that last sentence which Xiao Yan had said. They could not help but be stunned. Their expressions immediately became a little strange. De Class Qi Method This was a priceless item. Was this fellow not a little too generous? Uh. Sun Yar was a little stunned when she received the scroll. However, she shook her head and said with a gentle voice, during the qualifying competition, I observed the color and the degree of power of your Dou Qi during your battle. I think that the Qi method that you are practicing is merely of the Xian class, right? It temporarily is. Xiao Yan helplessly nodded. The current flame mantra had indeed only evolved to the Xian class. You still want to give it to me? This Qi method is obviously of the fire affinity and is more suitable for you. Sun Yar said in an annoyed manner. Due to some reasons, I cannot change my Qi method. Therefore, other than giving it to you, I have not the slightest use for it. Xiao Yan spread out his hand. He could not explain the matter regarding the flame mantra too clearly. Immediately, in order to prevent Sun Er from continuing to pursue him with more questions, he could only give a displeased face as he said, Hold it if you want it. If you don't want it, just throw it. When she saw Xiao Yan's expression, Sun Er pursed up her lips and gave a sweet smile. She said, All right. Coincidentally, I now need a transition Qi method. This thing is just suitable. That's right, what does Xiao Yan Ji Ji want to look for? Let Sun Er help you look for it. Sun Er said softly. I need a scroll containing a sonic type Dou technique. Xiao Yan frowned a little before sighing, I don't know if I can find one here. Sonic Type Dou Technique Sun Yar was startled when she heard this. She immediately voiced her thoughts, this kind of unorthodox Dou Technique is extremely rare. We can indeed find some low-class ones, but I think that Xiao Yan Ge Ge would not be attracted by ones of those class. A high-class one, however, is extremely difficult to find. Ah, we can only try our luck. Yes. Xiao Yan nodded. He raised his head and eyed the dense light cluster in midair and could not help but feel the skin on his head becoming slightly numb. The treasures that are collected in this book collection hall had actually reached such a terrifying number. If those people in the black corner region were to know about this, they might all become crazy. No wonder this book collection hall was hidden so stealthily. Moreover, there are even two mysterious grey-robed people with frightening strength guarding it. After giving that scroll containing the D-class Qi method to Sun Er, Xiao Yan once again shut his eyes. He relied on his spiritual perception strength to probe those light energy clusters. As Sun Er did not have such an outstanding spiritual perception ability, she could only rely on her senses to grab. However, the chances of obtaining what she was looking for by using this method was too low. Even after grabbing over ten clusters of light, Sun Er did not find what she needed. The other three people in the book collection hall had all obtained something that could grudgingly be satisfied with after putting in an immense amount of effort. Moreover, they were able to successfully take the object out of the light cluster. Bai Shan obtained a silk armor that was nearly transparent. This thing had a shocking defensive strength. If one were to discuss its ability to endure being hit, it had surpassed the inner vest, which could resist the amethyst-winged lion, 
that Yun Yun had given Xiao Yan back when he was in the Jiama Empire. Hu Jia had obtained a purple-colored pill with an unknown effect. As for Wu Hao, he appeared to have obtained a scroll containing a Dou technique. However, he did not let slip even a little information about the class of the item after obtaining it. Therefore, other than himself, Xiao Yan and the others were uncertain just what use the Dou technique, which he had obtained, had. At this moment, there was only ten minutes remaining till the one-hour limit, that they could stay in the book collection hall, was up. However, the sonic Dou technique, which Xiao Yan had anticipated, did not appear. A pale green shadow flashed down from midair. Sun Er wiped off the perspiration on her forehead. She waved the cluster of light in her hand towards Xiao Yan and said with a bitter smile, Rank 6 Monster Core from a Magical Beast, this is also a rare good item. Unfortunately, it is not what we need. Xiao Yan nodded slightly. As time slowly flowed by, the tension of his spiritual perception also grew tighter and tighter. At a certain instance, the heart belonging to him, whose spiritual strength was tensed till the extremely, suddenly trembled. The spiritual perception, which permeated the entire room, sent an extremely tiny vibration in the air into his mind. This vibration, Xiao Yan's tightly closed eyes snapped opened. His body was like a cannonball, which shot directly into the air. His hand violently grabbed at a cluster of light before he landed steadily on the ground. Xiao Yan GG, have you obtained it? Sun Er hurriedly asked when she saw Xiao Yan's action. Xiao Yan slowly spread open the cluster of light in his hand. His gaze passed through the light and swept within it. Initially, he nodded but he immediately sighed in disappointment, I have indeed found one, but unfortunately, it is merely a Huang class high level sonic Dou technique. This is quite a big gap from what I had expected. What should we do? Why don't we continue to wait a while? Sun Er said hesitatingly. There is not enough time. Xiao Yan laughed bitterly. He lifted his head to look towards the other side of the room only to coincidentally see Bai Shan's gloating gaze. He shook his head and could not be bothered with him. Facing Sun Er, he said, forget it, let's go. Although its class is low, I can first improvise and use it. Once he said this, he turned his body and walked towards the path which he had entered from. He he, Junior Xiao Yan, looks like you are the person with the worst luck. Behind him, Hu Jia and the other two also followed them, due to the constraints of time. Bai Shans could not resist the comfort in his heart when he saw Xiao Yan's depressed face as he opened his mouth and said. Are your bone itchy for another beating? Xiao Yan's footsteps suddenly paused as he tilted his head and said with a cold smile. Bai Shan's expression changed slightly. He gave a faint smile, but did not continue to speak. In his heart, he said darkly, you can now continue to be arrogant. There is much for you to see once you enter the inner academy. When he saw that Bai Shan did not dare to reply, Xiao Yan curled his lips with disdain. Finally, he glanced at the energy barrier, which was still spitting out items at a slowing rate. He sighed in his heart, turned around, and was about to leave. Xiu. The instant Xiao Yan turned around, the glow of energy barrier at a corner suddenly became brighter. Immediately, a sharp strange sound sounded throughout the entire room. That strange sound passed through the air and was propagated out turbulently, causing the spirit of Xiao Yan and the others to be a little absent-minded. He absent-mindedness merely lasted for an instant before it disappeared. Xiao Yan's walking footsteps suddenly paused. He immediately and suddenly turned around as his body's speed was unleashed to its maximum. Finally, he turned into a black shadow that shot explosively towards an energy barrier within the room. At the moment when Xiao Yan acted, a transparent energy cluster shot out from that energy barrier. Following its appearance, the sharp sound waves basically turned into a ripple-like form that spread throughout the room. Chapter 432 Lion Tiger Gold Shattering Roar As the transparent energy cluster was shot out, a sharp sound wave turned into substance-like ripples, and began to spread in all directions, 
with the energy cluster acting as an epicenter. Bai Shan and the others were startled at this disturbance, which had suddenly appeared. Immediately, they swiftly came to an understanding. Each of their expressions were different as they watched that black shadow, which Xiao Yan had turned into, shooting out wildly. Under the observation of the few people in the room, Xiao Yan unleashed his speed to its limit and appeared in front of the transparent energy cluster within two blinks. His hand was curled slightly, like the claws of an eagle, as he grabbed at the energy cluster in a lightning-like manner. Seemingly having sensed Xiao Yan's actions, that energy cluster, which was originally shooting forward, suddenly paused. It shook immediately and actually began to retreat in order to dodge him. Humph! Sensing the nearly conditional reflex-like dodging of the transparent energy cluster, Xiao Yan let out a cold laugher. He shook his sleeves and his hand appeared to have been elongated by a section. With a grab of his claw-shaped hand, he firmly caught the transparent light cluster into his palm. Once he obtained the thing, Xiao Yan's body did not show the slightest hesitation as he withdrew in a lightning-like manner. At this very same instance, an enormous suction force suddenly exploded out from the energy barriers within the room. Under the pull of this suction force, the energy globs that lingered and permeated the room was unceasingly being pulled back into the energy barrier. In an instant, the light clusters that permeated the place shuttled past. Countless number of light clusters, which had been spat out earlier, with the exception of the items in Sun Er, Bai Shan, and the others' hands, which energy covers had been broken, were once again being completely swallowed by the energy barrier at this moment. As he sensed the suction force being emitted from the energy barrier, Xiao Yan knew that this was all because they were approaching the end of their time limit. His hand grabbed the transparent light cluster in his hand that was repeatedly shaking, wanting to flee. This thing also felt the drag of the suction force and began to want to escape from Xiao Yan's restraint. Xiao Yan GG, quickly try and see if you can obtain the thing within it. Sun Er hurriedly reminded when she saw Xiao Yan's hands, which were being sucked until he was dragged towards the barrier. Only after hearing Sun Er's words did Xiao Yan recover. His right hand held the light cluster tightly, while his left hand was abruptly inserted into it. Bang! Xiao Yan's hand was inserted into the light cluster while being watched by the few of them. An instant later, an enormous force suddenly surged out and actually directly repelled Xiao Yan. Moreover, this repulsion force was large. It was sufficient to cause Xiao Yan to take quite a few steps back before he could neutralize the force. Damn it! I actually cannot. Xiao Yan's expression immediately became ugly when his hand was blocked. At this moment, the suction force, that was being emitted by the energy barrier, also became increasingly stronger. There were only a few countable light clusters still lingering within the entire room. A gloating cold smile involuntarily surfaced on Bai Shan's face as he looked at Xiao Yan's hands, which were being bounced off the light cluster. Xiao Yan GG, hold tight. Let me try. A green-colored shadow flashed beside Xiao Yan. Sun Er's hand was also swiftly extended into the energy cluster. Seeing Sun Er becoming increasingly close to the cluster of light, Xiao Yan's heart was also suddenly raised. If even Sun Er was unable to, then this sonic dough technique, which had reached his hands, was likely to grow wings and fly away. At that time, Xiao Yan really could only make do with the Huang-class sonic dough technique from earlier. Under the intense focus of gazes in the entire room, Sun Er's hands were abruptly inserted into the light cluster. A moment later, the kind of resistance that Xiao Yan had faced earlier did not appear. Joy surfaced on Sun Er's face. Her hands merely stopped for an instant within the light cluster before it was swiftly withdrawn. A crystal clear like scroll appeared in everyone's eyes. As he eyed the scroll, which Sun Er had successfully removed, Xiao Yan's nervous heart finally calmed down. He let out a smile on his face as though he had placed down a heavy burden. Xiao Yan GG, here. Sun Er rubbed the perspiration on her bright and smooth forehead. She was also very afraid that her failure would lead to Xiao Yan's disappointment. 
Fortunately, however, the worst-case scenario, which she had expected, did not appear. She smiled and handed over the transparent scroll in her hand to Xiao Yan. It's really thanks to you. Xiao Yan received the scroll and said with some heart palpitations. If it was not for Sun Er being here, it was likely that he would have to watch this thing, which had already reached his hands, once again be swallowed back with his own eyes. He licked his lips and turned his gaze towards the words on the scroll within his hands. Initially, he was a little startled, but he immediately nodded with satisfaction. Lion Tiger Gold Shattering Roar, Sonic Do Technique, Class, Hai Xian Class. When the lions and tigers roar in union, all beasts submit. It has the enormous strength of shattering gold and shaking the soul. Xiao Yan read the words on top of the scroll once, and felt a great satisfaction within his heart. The thing which he currently needed most, was a sonic do technique of this class. If it was too low, he would scorn it. If it was too high, it would be too difficult to practice and it was likely that he would have difficulty truly practicing it until he had enough power which might be a long period of time. After all, the higher the class of the Do technique, the higher the difficulty of practicing it would be. I have finally obtained it, Xiao Yan released a long breath. He carelessly threw away the high-level Huang class Do technique which he had obtained earlier. When it left his hand, it was wrapped by a cluster of light and finally shot back into the energy barrier before disappearing. Let's go. Xiao Yan kept this Xian class high level sonic do technique inside his storage ring and waved his hand at Sun Er. Immediately, he took the lead to turn around and walked into the tunnel, which he had entered from earlier. When he passed by Bai Shan, his footsteps paused for a moment and spoke to him with a faint smile. Looks like I have to disappoint Senior Bai Shan. I have gotten my hands on the thing that I need. Once he finished saying that, he did not continue to stay. Instead, he and Sun Er turned around and walked back into the dark tunnel. Umph. Bai Shan snorted coldly when he saw Xiao Yan's smiling expression. His face was dark and solemn as he followed. Behind him, Hu Jia and Wu Hao also followed closely. As the five of them left, the ripple-like energy barrier surrounding this room also began to slowly become smaller. An instant later, the energy barrier turned into a small point, which completely disappeared with a tiny crack sound. At this moment, the entire large room also became empty. No one would have expected that this place was filled with countless number of treasures, which would cause a stir in the outside world, just minutes earlier. Creek. The tightly shut, ancient main door was suddenly gently pulled open. A warm sunlight followed the gap of the door and shone into it, shining a long light trace within the dark tunnel that reached all the way to the end. The main door was opened. Xiao Yan and the four others walked out. They stood at the stairs and eyed the lush, green color of the valley. Their hearts could not resist sighing in relief. The atmosphere within the book collection hall was indeed a little too heavy. The space occupied by this book collection hall is so vast. I'm afraid that the large room which we had entered is merely one of the corners. Mystery is really seeping out from all over this place, after walked out of the main door, the corner of Xiao Yan's eyes swept over the two grey-robed people, who were seated on both sides, like old monks in meditation, without leaving a trace as he spoke to himself in his heart. Upon hearing the sound of the door opening, a robe of a grey robe person suddenly moved a little. Xiao Yan and the others immediately sensed a vast and majestic shapeless energy scanning them. The strength of that energy caused an aghast to surface in their hearts. The shapeless energy appeared to only have the purpose of scanning them. Therefore, it lasted for only a short ten seconds before it withdrew like the tide until it completely disappeared. Time is up. You can go. Remember. You cannot reveal even a little bit of everything that happened here, including the information about the interior of the book collection hall. A hoarse, old voice slowly lingered over where the main door was. Xiao Yan and the others hurriedly lowered their heads when they heard this. KK, have all of you come out. When he saw the five of the walking out, Hu Gan, who had been standing in front of the pavilion, 
said with a smile, all of you didn't leave empty-handed, right? The five of them nodded. That's good. No matter whether the thing you obtained is what you wanted, at the very least, you have gained something. Hu Gan smiled when he saw this. He bowed towards the two monk-like, grey-robed people beside the main door and said, Since these little fellows have already come out, I shall not disturb you two elders in your training. Goodbye. The two grey-robed people still did not have any response towards Hu Gan's words. Hu Gan also did not mind. He waved his hand at Xiao Yan and the others and said, Follow me. Hearing Hu Gan's voice, Xiao Yan and the four others also bowed towards the two grey-robed people, who sat cross-legged without moving, much like wooden pillars. They slowly walked backwards, walked down the green rock stairs, before turning around and arriving at Hu Gan's side. Hu Gan's gaze swept over the five of them. Only when he saw that they were not injured did he once again cupped his hands towards the two grey-robed people, turned around, and walked towards the invisible doorway which was being pulled open by a shapeless large hand. Follow me. Don't touch those spatial folds. Otherwise, even I cannot save you. Hu Gan turned his head around and reminded when they were about to pass through the doorway. After which, his upper body remained still as he strided out, stepping across the doorway in one go. Behind him, Xiao Yan and the others carefully followed. None of them dared to make even the slightest dissimilar movement. After they safely passed through the invisible doorway, an energy ripple was slowly formed. Xiao Yan turned around and take a look, only to see that the invisible doorway, which was ripped opened, had already begun to slowly disappear. A moment later, an extremely tight space fold wall once again appeared, hiding the book collection hall behind it. Xiao Yan's gaze leapt across those spatial folds that were difficult to sense and swept across the main entrance of the book collection hall. His expression suddenly changed slightly. Those two grey-robed human figures, who were originally still seated cross-legged there earlier, had strangely disappeared at this moment. This movement that could be called spectre-like caused a chill to continue to rise within his heart. Just who exactly were these grey-robed people guarding the book collection hall? This Jianan Academy could still stand after so many years while staying at the danger-filled Black Corner region. They do indeed have an extremely substantial foundation, Xiao Yan sighed in his heart and shook his head. He swiftly followed Hu Gan and the others in front and once again entered into that mountain cave which he had come from earlier. Following the disappearance of Xiao Yan and the others, this small mountain valley, which was hidden in an unknown location, once again reverted into the silence it had before. Only until the end of next year's Inner Academy qualification competition would this place once again be opened. Chapter 433, Training Within the spacious study, Hu Gan eyed the wall beside the study, which was slowly closing. Only then did he turn and face Xiao Yan and the four others in front of him. He said smilingly, All right, it can be considered that you all obtained your reward. Rest for the next two days. In two days, you will all be entering the inner academy. At that time, there will be chances for you all to cry bitterly. Xiao Yan and the others watched Hu Gan's smiling manner. They exchanged glances with one another before nodding slightly. That's right, I will remind you once again that if the new students entering the academy want to avoid being bullied by the older students, the only way is for your fist to be harder than theirs. Of course, students who can enter the Inner Academy are basically the past top students of the Outer Academy. Their training talent is not weak. Adding this to the unique training methods in the Inner Academy, it is likely going to be a little difficult for you new students, who have just entered, to catch up to their progress. Hu Gan's gaze swept across the five of them as he said, Therefore, I advise all of you to try your best to abandon the enmity between each other and cooperate. Otherwise, you would suffer quite a bit in the end. Don't tell me that our hands and legs will be broken or we will be killed by those fellows. Hu Ji rolled her eyes, while the other people were non-committal. In order to be able to become the top five of the qualifying competition, which of them did not have the ability to defend themselves? It is unlikely to be the case. 
After all, this place is an academy, not a battlefield. However, that feeling of others using their strength to trample over you is ultimately not a good one, right? Which of you fellows is not filled with arrogance in your heart? Hu Gan smiled and shook his head while he said. All right, if there is nothing else, all of you can go back. Report here two days from now. I will bring all of you into the academy at that time. When he saw Hu Jia twitching her lips, wanting to say something, Hu Gan's face immediately became stern as spoke while waving his hands towards Xiao Yan and the others. Deputy Headmaster, thank you for your reminder. We will pay attention to it. Xiao Yan nodded a little. He bowed and greeted Hu Gan before he immediately leaving together with Sun Er. Behind him, Hu Jia and the other two also left one after another. These fellows don't know what pain really is without having collided into a wall. Once you enter the inner academy, you will realize that surviving there is very tough. That place has never lacked talent, Hu Gan sat on his chair and eyed the few people who had left. He tapped his finger against his table and said helplessly. After entering the book collection hall and obtaining the thing which he needed, Xiao Yan used the remaining two days to enter into the large mountain behind the academy. He used all his effort to search for a secluded training ground, and thus began to study the two kinds of Dou techniques he had obtained. Although Xiao Yan was not too concerned about Hu Gan's words, a premonition within his heart caused him to faintly feel an impulse telling him that he needed to quickly raise his strength. If he was alone, it would not matter. However, now that Sun Er was also following him as they entered into the inner academy together, as a man, he naturally needed to protect her until she did not feel even the slightest bit of danger. Moreover what Hu Gan had said did have some logic to it. Which of those people, who could become the top 50 of Jianan Academy's outer academy, were not geniuses who had been gathered from all over the continent? If he lacked some foundation, even Xiao Yan would not dare to say that he could muddle along very well within the inner academy that he did not know much about. Therefore, the current Xiao Yan needed to raise his strength as soon as possible. He would not be able to make much progress in terms of Dou Qi cultivation during this short period of time. Therefore, he could only rely on the two kinds of Dou techniques in his hands. 3000 Lightning Movement Lion Tiger Gold Shattering Roar one was a low-level Di class Dou technique, while the other was a high-level Xian class Dou technique. One was a agility type Dou technique, while the other, a sonic type Dou technique. One to dodge, one to attack. If Xiao Yan wanted grasp some of the knowledge of the two Dou techniques, it would clearly not be an easy matter, even with Yao Lao's help. Therefore, after some consideration, Xiao Yan first placed his focus on the Lion Tiger Gold Shattering Roar. This high-level Xian class Dou technique was clearly much easier to practice compared to the low-level Di class 3000 Lightning Movement. Moreover, it was an extremely unorthodox attacking technique. If he were to fight with people in the future, it could obtain the effect of catching someone off guard. Of course, this so-called much easier to practice was built on the foundation of the comparison between the 3000 lightning movement and itself. No matter how one put it, the lion tiger gold shattering roar also belonged to the high level Xian class. If an ordinary student was able to possess one type of technique of that class, he would be able to rely on it to stand out amongst his peers. Therefore, the difficulty of practicing it was also at an extremely tough level. This was especially so for people like Xiao Yan, who was practicing a sonic Dou technique for the first time. The difficulty was multiplied when he practiced it. This place was a small-sized waterfall, which was surrounded by lush, green, dense forest. A silver river-like waterfall brought a loud rumbling sound as it flowed off the cliff and rolled down. Finally, it smashed against the mountain rocks and splashed water everywhere. On a certain mountain rock, just below the waterfall, a black-robed young man had his mouth wide open with a flushed expression on his face. He emitted a soft roar. That roaring sound of his was quite strange. It appeared like a tiger roar, but also appeared to be a lion roar. 
the roaring reverberated throughout the mountain unceasingly before overlapping with the sound of the waterfall splashing down, shaking the surface of the lake until circular ripples began to spread outwards. Roar! Cough, cough, Xiao Yan once again let out a roaring sound with a flushed face before he could finally not resist coughing intensely. He did his best to swallow a mouthful of saliva to moisten his burning throat. With a bitter laugh, he said, isn't this damn sonic dough technique too difficult to practice? I have roared for nearly an entire afternoon. My throat is about to become mute. Yet, it is still this lethargic tone. Can this really be used to attack? At this moment, if one were to carefully listen to Xiao Yan's voice, it was clearly much more hoarse compared to two days ago. It appeared that in order to practice this so-called lion-tiger gold-shattering roar, he had suffered quite some hardship. It can already be considered quite good that you can mostly imitate the roar of a tiger and lion within a day. As long as you continue to diligently practice, you will sooner or later be able to control the strength of the roaring sound and not end up causing your own throat to be injured. Yao Lao's smiling voice sounded within Xiao Yan's heart. I also want to spend the entire day and night imitating. However, didn't teacher said that there is a strict daily time limit when one practices this kind of sonic dough technique? It seemed to be three hours, right? Once one has exceeded this time limit, one would place an extremely great burden on one's throat. If one is not careful, one might turn into a mute. Xiao Yan's hand scratched his throat, which was beginning to feel some pain as he helplessly said. This is indeed so for an ordinary person. However, with me around, do you still need to worry about this small problem? Yao Lao smiled proudly. Teacher has a solution. Xiao Yan was startled when he heard this. He immediately and hurriedly asked. Have you gathered all of the medicinal ingredients that I asked you to prepare last night? They are gathered. The medicinal ingredients warehouse in Jianan City is far richer than that of the Jiuma Empire. I have let Sun Er help me to prepare all of the medicinal ingredients that you need. Xiao Yan nodded and said. Take out the medicinal ingredients. After which, refine one thing by yourself. I will transmit the medicinal formula into your mind. As Yao Lao's voice sounded, Xiao Yan's mind suddenly swelled. Immediately. He felt that there was a heap of information being forcefully stuffed in. Ice Spirit Throat Protecting Liquid, an assistance type medicine. It is able to relieve various searing pains and protect the throat, such that it would not be affected and destroyed by the sudden appearance of heated energy. The medicinal ingredients needed to refine it are, Ice Spirit Leaf, Three Flower Grass and a Water Type Monster Core. This is a bobble, which I had successfully researched in the past when I had nothing better to do. It can protect your throat. After you consume this, you need not be concerned with that time limit of the sonic dough technique. As long as your spirit can endure it, it is up to you how long you want to roar. Your throat will not become mute. Yao Lao smilingly said. Xiao Yan's eyes brightened when he heard this. He nodded his head excitedly. If an ordinary person were to practice a sonic dough technique, he could only practice for a maximum of three hours a day. However, if he were to consume this so-called ice spirit throat protecting liquid, he would be able to continue to train for a couple of days without stopping. It was said that hard work could make up for one's clumsiness. Xiao Yan believed that he would be able to grasp the essence of the lion tiger gold shattering roar if he went all out and trained hard during these two days. Moreover, Xiao Yan was not clumsy. This so-called icy spirit throat protecting liquid basically could not even be considered a medicinal pill. Although one must pay extreme attention to some of its refining details, refining it went very smoothly for Xiao Yan, who had an unusually strong spiritual perception. Therefore, after he took out the medicinal ingredients, which he had already prepared, he began to raise his hand and refined it. Nearly half an hour later, the medicinal ingredients, that were placed in front of him, had already turned into pale blue liquid and easily filled two small, jade bottles. Ah, not bad. Your ability to control flames has improved very quickly. 
Looks like the effect of having an outstanding spiritual perception is quite great. Yao Lao nodded his head and exclaimed a little as he eyed the small jade bottles in Xiao Yan's hand. Although it was not difficult to refine this so-called icy spirit throat protecting liquid, being able to maintain a success rate of 70% on Xiao Yan's first attempt at refining it could indeed be considered an extremely outstanding result. Swallow one mouthful every hour. After that, you can practice the lion tiger gold shattering roar recklessly. If you are lucky, you might be able to grasp some initial control over it during the remaining time that you have. Yao Lao smilingly said, as for that 3000 lightning movement, you should temporarily steer clear of it. One reason is that there is not enough time. The second is that practicing Di class Do techniques is not as easy as you think. Therefore, we can only wait until after you enter the inner academy before I can find some opportunity to help you design a training procedure. Yes. Xiao Yan nodded. He first kept one small jade bottle before pouring a mouthful of liquid from the other bottle into his mouth. The moment the icy spirit throat protecting liquid rolled down his throat, it turned into an icy cool feeling that began spreading out. Xiao Yan was able to clearly feel that these icy cool liquid were covering the spot where his throat was. The remnant searing pain, that had been present earlier, swiftly disappeared at this moment. Hey, it is indeed a good thing, now, let us strive to grasp the initial control over this lion tiger gold shattering roar during the remaining time. As he sensed the searing pain disappear, Xiao Yan could not help but feel a little strange at the swift effect of this liquid. He parted his mouth and smiled. Immediately, he inhaled a long breath of somewhat moist air before that strange roaring sound once again roared out from Xiao Yan's mouth a moment later. Finally, it turned into a circular-shaped ripple which spread out in all directions with Xiao Yan at the center. It formed waves of ripples across the surface of the lake. Under the waterfall, the strange roaring, which was covered by the loud splashing of the water wall, was becoming increasingly sharp and pressurized. Chapter 434, Tiger Roar Shaking the Mountain Forest The gentle breeze blew over the endless sea of trees causing the branches to sway. The sea of trees were scattered with bursts of green-colored waves that spread out towards the edge of one's sight. Within the sea of trees, there would occasionally be a silver, river-like waterfall present as ornaments. It carried a loud bang as well as a fog rose up and permeated the sky. Under the waterfall, the fog was spread over the surface of the lake, appearing hazy as though one was in the territory of the immortals. There, a black-robed young man was seated cross-legged on a huge rock on the edge of the lake. His hands formed the training seal and the air around his body fluctuated slightly. Threads of faint energy surfaced and unceasingly poured into the young man's body. The clean and transparent lake, where one could see the bottom, contained the rumbling sound of the waterfall, and a dense fog filled the air. It was an artistic scene formed from its special environment. Under this environment, the energy, which swarmed out from the air surrounding the black-robed young man, was also becoming increasingly dense. The young man did not refuse the energy that came to him. His body was like a black hole which could not be filled swallowing all that came near him and refining them. After training for an hour, the energy surrounding Xiao Yan finally began to gradually become faint. His eyelashes moved a little before he slowly opened his eyes. A clear glint shone in his dark, black eyes and disappeared swiftly. This place is not a bad place to use for training. In just two short days, the Dou Qi in my body has been enhanced by quite a lot. According to this training speed, I might be able to advance to a seven-star Dadoshi if I was to train here for two months. Xiao Yan undid the seal formed by his hand and sensed the surging and flowing Doqi in his body as he whispered in a somewhat surprised voice. Unfortunately, after two days of tough training, I still have not learned the trick to the Lion Tiger Gold Shattering Roar despite having the help of the Icy Spirit Throat Protecting Liquid. Although I am now able to barely emit a sound wave, its attacking strength is too weak. It basically cannot be used to face an opponent. Xiao Yan slowly stood up, flipped his hand, and placed it on the huge rock. 
he eyed the calm surface of the lake and sighed with a bitter smile. After sighing gently, Xiao Yan shook his head. He threw aside the helplessness in his heart as his gaze stopped on the calm surface of the lake, where no ripples were formed. A long while later, he slowly closed his eyes and raised his head slightly. His spiritual perception broke out of his body and quietly spread out. Finally, it covered the entire surface of the lake. Being wrapped by the spiritual perception, the quiet atmosphere that the small lake carried was instantly amplified by many dozens of times. Under the influence of this quiet atmosphere, Xiao Yan's originally somewhat impetuous heart also gradually recovered its calmness. The black-robed young man placed his hands behind him on the huge rock as he stood up. His body was as straight as a pen, much like a long spear releasing a sharp cold aura, its vigor threatening others. Xiao Yan did not know how long he stood like this. That roaring sound of the waterfall crashing downwards suddenly gradually became more faint in his ears. At this moment, the entire world in Xiao Yan's ears seemed to have descended into a somewhat short and bizarre temporary silence. The current him appeared to have borrowed the silent atmosphere of the lake's surface to unknowingly enter a mysterious state. Xiao Yan was in a condition where everything was silent. At this moment, one strange roar after another swiftly flashed through his mind involuntarily. These roars were emitted by Xiao Yan during his training of the Lion Tiger Gold Shattering Roar over the past two days. Under normal circumstances, he would not have realized the weirdness in his roar. However, during the recollection in his mind at that moment, he was like a machine that was extremely precise and accurate, identifying the tiny sound waves from those roars. Countless number of roars sounded at the same time. One by one, the disagreement between each weird sound wave was identified. After which, it was excluded. The roar, which was originally in disarray, began to faintly have the tendency of being synchronized. The quantity of roars also began to be reduced from the countless number, no. It could not be said to have been reduced. Instead, they had begun to merge together until they had become synchronized, turning into one single sound. The disarray in the roaring within his mind had become less and less under Xiao Yan's nearly accustomed manner of identifying and eliminating. It also became increasingly louder and more clear. Under this strange condition, Xiao Yan did not have any concept of time. The only thing he could do in this kind of perplexing condition was to rely on his instinct to analyze the fluctuations of these roaring sounds until it achieved its final perfect form. Xiao Yan did not know how many hours the never-ending analysis continued for. However, he was slow to exit from that condition. This was because after the countless number of roaring perfectly merged into a single sound, there was no longer any progress. Although Xiao Yan also knew that the roaring sound at this moment could already be considered to have reached the initial stage of the Lion Tiger Gold Shattering Roar, he kept having the feeling that the roar seemed to be missing something. What is it missing? The thought in Xiao Yan's mind circulated in a lightning-like manner. However, he ultimately had difficulty searching for the thing he needed. Roar Xiao Yan's bitter pondering continued for an unknowingly long period of time. However, the instant before Xiao Yan had a premonition that this mysterious condition was about to disappear, a shocking roar, that shook the entire mountain forest, suddenly sounded from the mountain range in the outside world. The tiger roar followed the sea of trees and began to spread. Finally, it came mightily to the lake. The suppression that was contained in the tiger roar caused some wild beasts around the lake to completely become paralyzed. The clear and loud tiger roar was not isolated from that condition Xiao Yan was in. Therefore, that roar, which contained the might of the tiger, was transmitted directly into Xiao Yan's ears. As the tiger roar entered his ears, the roaring sound in Xiao Yan's mind, that had just undergone countless number of analysis in order to merge into one, suddenly fluctuated. At this moment, Xiao Yan heart suddenly brightened. What his own roar was lacking was this kind of true tiger's might. Compared with a true tiger's roar, his own roar merely had the shape. Within that incomparably clear mind of his, the tiger roar, which had entered his ear earlier, 
was actually put together and formed a winding substance like silver-colored wave with extreme curvature. Under Xiao Yan's control, this thread of waves began to merge with the most perfect roar of his, which he had analyzed earlier. The two sound waves entwined with one another and successfully merged perfectly without too much resistance. The moment the two sound waves merged, the mysterious condition Xiao Yan was in broke apart abruptly. He suddenly opened his eyes and a clear glint flashed through them explosively. He inhaled a deep breath of air and the Dou Qi flowed wildly within his body. A thread of dragon aura, which he had inherited from the Yin Yang mysterious dragon pill, swiftly surged out, and finally directly charged into his throat. Roar! Xiao Yan's mouth filled slightly. His face was a little flushed as his hands suddenly formed a seal. His mouth widened. At that moment, a thunderclap-like loud tiger roar came explosively out of his mouth. The shapeless sound wave had just exited his mouth when the air in front of Xiao Yan began to fluctuate intensely. Immediately, the sound wave began expanding outwards in a lightning-like manner. He could only hear a loud bang. The calm lake surface appeared to have a bomb placed within it. A huge wave, that was 70 to 80 feet high, exploded and rose before falling with a bang. Splashes and fog covered the entire small valley in a thick mist. The sound of tiger roar was like angry lightning formed from densely placed storm clouds. It rolled and swept out with Xiao Yan as the center. Even the loud sound of the waterfall crashing downwards was covered by the tiger roar. One could even vaguely hear it five kilometers away. Anywhere the sound waves passed, hundreds of beasts felt weak. Even the spirit of some of the strong and powerful magical beasts quivered intensely due to the dragon aura that the tiger roar contained. Some of the weaker low-rank magical beasts, who were also in close proximity from the lake, were actually directly shocked to death by this angry thunder-like sound wave. Just one roar from Xiao Yan was actually this terrifying. The roaring sound slowly became weaker a long while later. The fog that had permeated the small mountain valley also gradually disappeared. On the huge rock, the black-robed young man's face was filled with excitement and shock as he eyed the messy ground all around him. He coughed intensely before muttered with great joy, I have succeeded. This is the strength of the lion-tiger gold-shattering roar? It is indeed very strong. You really are a boy blessed by the heavens. To actually be able to grasp the rhythm of the tiger roar within a short two days. Without undergoing half a years of tough training, normal people would definitely not be able to achieve this. Although you have borrowed the strength from entering that quiet condition in order to merge the tiger's roar and use it for your own purpose, this speed and achievement really is extremely amazing. Yao Lao's voice suddenly sounded in Xiao Yan's heart. When he saw the latter experiencing that strange situation earlier, even he could not help but feel amazed. Xiao Yan laughed when he heard this. He did not expect that by stumbling around, he would actually be able to enter into such a condition. However, you should not be too happy. For now, you have merely grasped the initial stages of the Lion Tiger Gold Shattering Roar and can barely display 30 to 40 percent of its strength. Without some time to hone it, it will not be possible for you to reach complete mastery. Moreover, this kind of honing has no shortcuts. Yao Lao reminded. Yes. Xiao Yan nodded. He twisted his neck and heard the clear cracking sound between his bones before he let out a long breath. Originally, he did not think of reaching complete mastery of the Lion Tiger Gold Shattering Roar. Being able to achieve his current achievement had already far exceeded his expectations. Therefore, he would not be too ambitious. It is good that you know this. There is someone coming over, I will withdraw first, Yao Lao completely disappeared after this without the slightest movement. Xiao Yan's hand brushed the water from his clothes. His head turned towards the entrance of the small mountain valley. The tree branches moved slightly at that spot and a green-colored figure immediately flashed out in a lithe manner, much like a butterfly. Finally, she quietly stood on a small rock protruding at the side of the lake. Her silvery bell-like laughter was like the chanting of the mountain bell, causing Xiao Yan's mind, which had not relaxed for two days and two nights, 
to quietly ease up. Xiao Yan Ji Ji, the two days of preparation is already up. Today, we are entering the inner academy. Are you prepared? The green clothed young lady raised her elegant and exquisite pretty face. She said smilingly with a gentle voice as she eyed the young man, whose body appeared even taller while standing on a huge rock with his arms behind his back. Xiao Yan nodded his head with a smile. He patted the large heavy Xian ruler on his back. His toes pressed against the rock surface and his body turned into a black shadow that flashed and appeared at the exit of the mountain valley. After waving his hands at Sun Er, he immediately turned around and slowly walked out of the small mountain valley. Inner Academy hey? I anticipate it greatly, hopefully it won't disappoint me. The human figure gradually disappeared within the thicket, leaving behind a faint voice that slowly resounded in this place. Chapter 435, The Location of the Inner Academy When Xiao Yan and Sun Er arrived at the deputy headmaster, Hu Gan's, study, they saw that there were already quite a number of people standing on the empty ground in front of them. These people were divided into quite a number of large and small groups. Each of them softly conversed with a smile. Amongst these groups, the three groups consisting of Bai Shan, Wu Hao and Hu Ji respectively, were the largest. Xiao Yan's and Sun Er's appearance also caused the noisy, open ground to become slightly quieter. Other than a small number of people, most of the gazes that were used to look at the two of them were filled with respect. In the qualifying competition a few days ago, Xiao Yan used a tyrannical battle style of one against three to shock and deter all the dissatisfied voices. Therefore, his reputation had already faintly surpassed Bai Shan, Wu Hao and the others despite having only arrived at the academy less than a month ago. Xiao Yan and Sun Er directly passed through the human crowd and arrived at an empty spot near the front. They exchanged glances with Bai Shan and the two others. With the exception of Bai Shan, Hu Jie and Wu Hao nodded towards them. Their attitudes were clearly much better than before. Clearly, the words that Hu Gan had told them two days before were not totally ignored. When they were just entering the inner academy, a place where strong people were as numerous as the clouds, it was likely that they would suffer a little if they were not a little more united. Although the two of them were haughty they were not stupid. It would naturally be best if they did not need to endure pointless suffering. At this moment, the open ground was also surrounded and filled with quite a number of other students. In the hearts of all the students in the outer academy, being able to enter the inner academy to train was an honor that caused many people to be extremely envious of. Countless number of people had been working hard towards this direction from the moment they entered the academy. Therefore, each year, when the students who had passed through the qualifying competition were entering the inner academy, there would be many people who would come to see them off, or simply to watch them. Ten minutes after Xiao Yan had arrived at this place, the tightly shut door of the study was opened. Deputy Headmaster Hu Gan and a few old men slowly walked out. When the people on the open ground saw them arrive, the private whispers on the open ground gradually became quiet. A moment later, it was completely silent. Hu Gan's gaze slowly swept across the fifty students on the open ground. When he saw that there was no one missing, he nodded with satisfaction. With a step forward, he clearly said, Students, today is the day that you will all be entering the inner academy. I will congratulate all of you here. Your hard training had finally finally reaped rewards. I believe that after entering the inner academy, all of you might not suit the training method in there, however, there is one point that I am very certain. That is, in there, you will be able to activate your own potential to the greatest extent there, KK, I am not exaggerating, you only need to stay in the inner academy for one year and you will be totally transformed. There may be people amongst you who know some students in the inner academy. After all, they would occasionally have some leave to come out of the inner academy. Therefore, you should all be clear just how large a gap there is between the strength when students come out and when they first entered. When they heard Hu Gan's words, there were a few students on the open ground who nodded slightly. Clearly, they should have some interactions with those students who had come out from the inner academy. 
The majority, however, had faces filled with anticipation and excitement. What Hu Gan had said was what they were pursuing. Was it not their aim to pursue an even greater strength when they fought to enter into the inner academy? They believed that regardless of how strange or tough the training method of the inner academy was, they would endure it all the way. Being able to stand out within Jianan Academy proved their talent and hard work. The people who were able to stand up here were not those who thought that strength would just come without any effort. The inner academy is the core of Jianan Academy. Due to the need to keep its location secret, most of the students in the outer academy, as well as the instructors, are unaware of its exact location. Therefore, we will send you to a certain place. Hu Gan smiled. He raised his head and eyed the distant, blue sky. At that spot, ten black shadows were flying over. A moment later, the black shadows gradually became bigger. They were surprisingly ten enormous griffins. The ten griffins carried their enormous dark shadows as they swept past the academy. Finally, they stopped in the air above Xiao Yan and the other students. They flapped their wings and wild wind shot everywhere, fanning the students below until some of them began to sway. Griffins? Don't tell me that the inner academy is very far from here. A glint of surprise flashed past Xiao Yan's eyes as he looked at the griffins hovering above. Hu Gan waved his hands towards the griffins in the sky. Immediately, the dark shadows began to press towards the ground. Finally, the ten griffins landed in an empty spot not too far away after a wild wind brushed past. Everyone's gazes scanned them, only to find that there were two people on the back of each of the griffins, driving them. All right. Time's up. All students, please get on. Five people to a group. Hu Gan pointed at the griffins and smilingly said after seeing that they had landed. When they heard Hu Gan's words, the students on the open ground immediately turned around. They were like a swarm of beasts as they rushed onto the open ground, after which they appeared to be like fleas as these impatient fellows climbed onto the large backs of each of the griffins, hearing suo suo sounds as they did so. However, when their feet stepped onto the backs of the griffins, the slightly slippery feathers caused them to suffer. Some of the people, whose feet were not stable, directly slid and fell down. Their bodies smashed into the rocky ground, causing banging sounds to appear repeatedly. Ha ha, young fellows, don't try to be brave. There are seats placed on the griffins. Don't be delusional and try to stand on its back. That is something that only those with the strength of a dadoshi can do. Hu Gan laughed loudly. He immediately turned his head towards Xiao Yan and the others and said, The top five. You five will be one group. Climb on up. Uh. Xiao Yan and the four others were startled when they heard this. He did not expect that Hu Gan would actually arrange for the five of them to be together in a group. They hesitated for a moment. Other than Bai Shan, who knit his brows together, the others nodded indifferently. Let's go. Xiao Yan spoke to Sun Er. His body flashed and immediately appeared on the back of a griffin. His feet steadily stood on its slippery feather without moving even a little, as though he was a metal pagoda. When the students, who had fallen from the griffins earlier, saw his steady movements, they could not resist having their faces fill up with admiration. Having tried to forcefully get onto the griffin, they clearly knew just how difficult it was for someone to stand on those damn feathers. Behind Xiao Yan, Sun Er and the others also flashed onto the griffin at the same time. The four of them also did not borrow the help of anything as they immediately stood straight and tall on the back of their griffin. This strength was indeed worthy of being the top five rankings of the qualifying competition. After seeing the performance of these five people, Hu Gan and the other old people beside him took one look around the empty ground. When they saw that everyone had boarded their giffins, they exchanged glances with each other and nodded. Hu Gan waved his hand. He and three other elderly men moved and flashed into midair. Their shoulders shook and four pairs of beautiful dochi wings extended out. Each pair of dochi wings were flapped, and their bodies were suspended in midair without moving in front of numerous, envious gazes from below. 
Being able to coagulate and form a pair of dough chi wings and fly freely had always been the dream of many who cultivated. We will personally escort you all the way there. Hu Gan looked down at the open ground from high above in the sky and smiled. He waved his hand and the people, who drove the griffins, let out a sharp whistle. Immediately, the griffins suddenly flapped their wings and their huge bodies slowly rose into the air, accompanied by the increasingly shrinking shadows, they rose up off the ground. Xiao Yan, Sun Er, we wish you all the best. If your performance in the Inner Academy is outstanding, you will receive time off. A voice suddenly sounded from below as the griffins were rising into the air. Xiao Yan and Sun Er lowered their head to take a look. It was actually instructor Ruo Ling. At this moment, Xiao Yu, Xiao Ning, and Xiao Mei had lifted their heads to watch the group of griffins, which were ascending higher and higher. They waved towards Xiao Yan when they saw him looking over. As the griffins' wings swiftly flapped, the human figures below became smaller and smaller. In the end, they were nearly the size of ants. Looking down at the entire Jianan Academy from this high up in the sky, one could see every location in their line of sight. Ten large griffins were flapping their wings in the blue sky, flying in the direction of the endless stretch of mountains behind the academy. Ahead of the griffins flew Hu Gan and the three elderly men. They formed a four-sided shape that surrounded the entire griffin formation within. Powerful Dou Qi surfaced outside their bodies. No matter how the wild the wind raged, it did not even touch their bodies. The inner academy is indeed not within the Jianan Academy. Don't tell me it is located within the boundless mountains behind the academy. Xiao Yan softly muttered as eyeing the Jianan Academy as it disappeared from his line of sight. It is rumored that the location of the Inner Academy is a great secret. Even some of the students, who have come out from the Inner Academy, would not be able to find the location of the Inner Academy if they did not have the griffins trained for the purpose of taxing them in and out. Sun Er smilingly said. A faint, golden glow seeped out from her body, completely blocking the wild wind that was blowing at her from the front. Do you all know what's so special about the Inner Academy? Xiao Yan turned his gazes towards Hu Jia and the other two, taking the lead to break the stiff atmosphere. Since the deputy headmaster requested them to be on the same griffin, that meant that they were already a group. Since this was the case, it was a must to release the tension in the relationship between them no matter how little. Grandfather has never mentioned anything about the inner academy to me, so I am also uncertain. However, each time we see the students come out from the Inner Academy, their strength have all risen sharply compared to when they previously entered. Hu Jia glanced at Xiao Yan. She similarly knew Xiao Yan's intentions. She finally opened her mouth to reply after recalling Hu Gan repeatedly reminding her not to strain their relationship. I also don't know. I very seldom bother about these things. Wu Hao also shook his head. As a battle-crazy person, he had spent most of his time in the past pursuing and killing the people of the Black Corner region who had strayed into Jiama Academy's boundaries. Where would he find time to bother about the Inner Academy? Won't we naturally know when we get there? Bai Shan said faintly. Although he knew a little, he was unwilling to share this information with Xiao Yan. He earnestly wished for the other party to suffer a little more. Xiao Yan looked at Bai Shan, who had his arms crossed in front of his chest, deeply. However, he did not continue to ask anything else. The guard he felt towards this fellow within his heart had become much more dense. Xiao Yan shifted his gaze away from Bai Shan. He gazed at the lush green ocean of trees beneath them, which were swiftly rushing past. He exhaled a long breath in his heart. The inner academy. Was the fallen heart flame really at this place? 